On May 8th, 2017, I got a phone call that would change my week. To drive all the way down to Carlsbad, California to inspect the life of Brock Smith. The Smiths all seemed like such a pleasant family. That is, up until I met the dad. Hello, sir. I'm on your documentary crew. I'm going to be helping you out with your son today. Now, for the real reason I'm here. Not to investigate the Smith family, but to investigate Brock. My worthless son, Brock? Yes, go ahead. Well, when you don't have a job and you mooch off me all day and play video games, it's pretty much worthless. Worthless. A word that was thrown around in Brock's face quite a bit. But why is it getting thrown around? So can you tell me a little bit about your relationship with your older brother, Brock? You mean Brick? So what's your name? Uh, so like... My name's... My name's Brick. I mean... He's kind of a loser. Oh he my just... god, 99th again? Yeah, he just kind of sits in his room and plays video games all day. Like, I enjoy it and like, I have fun. I'm trying to make money off of it, but like, I'm not that good. And he doesn't even have a win yet. Trash. So, what's like your average day wait, in the life? Wait, wait, I think we're gonna call. Yes, Cindy? Alright, I'll be on. One sec. So, what were you asking? What else do you Can do? I just go? Well, I mean, we're getting paid for this. I'm not. Exactly. <sighs> okay. Can I get like five dollars? Well, I just think Walter's being a little hard on Brock. He's still young, he's still trying to find his way in the world. And he doesn't really have that many friends. Hey, Cindy Walk, this way, this way. The circle's closing. Let's go. Shut up, Brick. I'm at Loot Lake. Jeez, sorry dude, my parents have been on my butt way too much. Same here, my parents said I should get a job too. All the jobs suck, there aren't any for us cool guys. Maybe I should go to work at GameStop. Do they even have a GameStop in Corey? What's going on in here? Hey dad, I'm all on with Cinderblock. Brick, you're not a brick. Well actually you are a brick because all you do is sit on the couch all day and play video games, but your real name is Brock. But no one's ever going to know that because no one will ever see that on a job application. Dad, come on, seriously? No more PS4, no more Fortnite. I'm pulling everything out of the house, and you're getting off your ass, and you're going to get a job, or you're out on the street. As an editing choice to our viewers, we wanted to take out the audio from these next few clips, but the basis of it was is that Walter was fed up with Brick and decided to kick him out of the house for good this time. Don't come back until you get a freaking job. J-O-B, job! After Brock got kicked out of the house, we decided to leave and give him some space. I have some intel on Brick Smith. Holy sh Now, you may be thinking, what the hell is happening right now? But just hang in there, I promise there's a point. I have intel on Brick Smith. How do you even know I'm on this case? I know Brick Smith. He used to be Brock Smith. Now he's Brick. You see, he was a professional gamer. But then, he lost all his friends in the great gaming accident of 2015. You see, Brick was playing Call of Duty Ghosts. It had just come out. So Brick, being the professional gamer he was, he got really into it. He didn't go outside. But I thought he was a gamer. He was the best. He only became so he could get his friends back. But he was number one. He was number one, not Jimmy Bernefferson. Him. Brick Smith. So what does all this mean? Why is he still playing? I don't know, why are you trying to find out? I just came here because I needed a ride. Are you freak? What are you gonna do? I don't know. I mean, he gave you some good, like, info. But it might not be right, like, I think I know what we have to do. What? We have to find out who Brick Smith really is. Brick used to be the best gamer ever, which means there had to be some sort of accident that portrayed to him not being the best anymore. There it is. Okay. Wait, there's Brick. Brock Smith named number one in the nation. What game was he playing? It was in 20, oh, he said, um, Call of Duty ghosts. ghosts. Is he a ghost? 
I think at this point, the only thing that we can do is just not bring it up to Brock and really just help him get a job. He's already out of the house. He's already lost the approval of his father, so I, there's not much more we can do. If you think that's the best thing, I mean, you know best, right? I am the best. I am the best. You are the best. I'm the best. You are the best. I'm the best. You are the best. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, what do you think you got to do? We got to go help Rick. With the new information we learned about Brock, we decided to put in some job applications. But the going was not easy. Oh, here it comes. Did you get it? No. Place after place rejected Brock. It seemed like he was only inside for five minutes until he came back out rejected with the same look on his face every time. Well? Oh, they give me this look. Brock, I know things look really bad right now, but hopefully it'll get better with time. I mean, I think so. Brock's new suspicion for this girl led him into one of the stores that we didn't think that Brock would end up in. But somehow he did. Just watch it. You can do it. I'm restocking the Santa Claus, and my boss would kill me if I dropped them. Why would he kill you over Santa Claus when you guys have Lord of the Rings? Santa Claus is one of the best movies of all time. Okay. Anyway, who are you? Brock. Well, Brock, what are you here for? Uh. I mean, I'm looking for a job, actually. Well, if you need an application, I can just go get you one. Oh. Yeah. Can you help me out with that? Yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, whatever this is, it can't Oh, us? Yeah, it, this, that can't happen here. We can put uh, it outside, though. Okay. Okay. Since the Best Buy manager liked Brock so much, she hired him on the spot and he started working that afternoon. It changed his whole perspective. So Brock, how was your first day? Uh, pretty good. I was super glad that I could get the job on the first day. I don't know how that worked out, but yeah. So, uh, who's that girl? That's, uh, Izzy. She was the one talking about Fortnite yesterday. She seems like a great girl for you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like it here. And just like that, Brooke had a job. He was not going to be the loser in his dad's basement anymore. So, with all that said, this is Rick's life.